I commonly find issues in restaurants that lead to people being injured, harmed, maimed, or killed. So, yes, I commonly find maggots in the condiments. I then ordered a beverage. She brings me the beverage. She's got her hands around the top of the glass where my lips go. You may as well just take my glass and hold it like this or put your finger that far deep down in my bottle of beer. It's the same thing at that point. The place is filthy dirty. When did you, when did you open those? That was a couple days back. Feel the slime on it? Yep. Is it supposed to have the slime on it? Nope. What are you gonna do to it? Feed it to me? No. You can bring that garbage can over here if you want. It might save you a trip. I also want to introduce you to uh, Howard Cannon. Howard is a restaurant consultant. Uh, he's the guy you bring in uh, when you find a finger in your chili. He's brought in by insurance companies and others to, to kind of investigate and figure out what's going on. I'm restaurant expert witness and forensic analyst Howard Cannon, and I wrote the book about restaurants. One of the most respected expert witnesses in the country. Howard Cannon, founder of Restaurant Expert Witness and author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Starting a Restaurant. You're going to show us some areas for caution in terms of food items. Yes, sir. The reality is there's about 76 million cases of foodborne illness a year in this country. 3,000 deaths. Your restaurant and my reputation are on the line. This will be intense, and it's not for everybody, but it's the only way. If you expect to have a successful chain restaurant, you got to come along. This is Howard Cannon from Restaurant Expert Witness. He owns a company that basically comes in and helps restaurant operations to reposition themselves. We deal with visible intoxication each and every day. And that system, that law, those guidelines are not that cut and dry. We can change the menu boards, we can change the signage, the logos, the media presentation, everything using computers. The most important happenings of almost all of our lives happen in restaurants and bars. And it's a very personal experience for each and every one of us. I, for one, want to make sure that people don't go out and eat lunch and die. And I take that very personally. This is sitting at room temperature all day, sometimes in the hot beating sun. Mm. And a fly flies around, and it lands on top of the condiment. Uh -huh. What do you think it's doing on top of that condiment? <laughs> Spreading. It's a little dirty fly business. In many instances, it's laying eggs. Oh! Oh, really? And the eggs then drop into the condiment. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is worse than I thought. Which gives, which gives the little baby something to eat. If you impact the restaurant and bar industry by increasing the minimum wage, you will negatively impact America. There's no way around that. When I assess a restaurant, I do it in two days. I get on site, I do undercover to begin with, so I'm assessing what's happening in the restaurant without them knowing what I'm up to. And then I start testing menu items. I start digging into every aspect, from the front of the house, back of the house, outside, what they're doing in the marketplace, uh, how the operations are, are uh, working for the business and I'm looking at every aspect of the restaurant. My third favorite moment was when I called in Howie Cannon to help shape up the mismanagement at the Alaskan Hotel's bar. I want to work through that strategy so that we can make sure that we get the tourist dollars at the right time and we do it in a way that helps the business. Well, we got to get this resolved. You know, we're not trying to pour beer down the drain. I think we've got a better grip and an idea of how to handle where our inefficiencies are. Thank you, Howard. <laughs>